Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today I am going to show you how I kind of haphazardly use GPT to help me code in Stormworks because I suck at code. So let me show you. Let's get started. So as you know, Char Lizard has been working on, what has he been working on? He's been working on the Convoy add-on. So sometimes I like to, well, all the time I like to ask for features because that's what I do. I'm good at I'm good at doing that. I, I think that should be a job. But uh, I ask Char for features, but sometimes I like to show him like what I mean like an interface or whatever, like usually digital interface, like a picture. But I wanted to show them this idea for a Morse code thing for the sub hunt. And so I, I don't know how to code. So I started messing around with GPT and after a while kind of got the hang of how you could use it if you don't know what the heck you're doing to get things to kind of work. Now, I don't know if my code is optimized or if GPT is giving me great code, but it gives me something that works in Stormworks. And that's kind of what is important to me. So this is what I created. Uh, it's kind of ugly and it's got like debug crap. So it basically takes hello world and it turns it into a string of numbers and dots and dashes for the different spaces in between the Morse code. And then what it does is it converts it again to a number string because you can only send numbers uh, through, you know, transmitting. You can't send alphabet uh, and, you know, you can't add the periods and the dashes. So it's converts it and then it'll send it over here. So I'm going to push this button and it's going to send the hello world uh, as a number over to this microcontroller and this will translate it into dots and dashes. I think this is space maybe. I don't know. I, I you know I changed a lot but let's hit the button and you'll see the numbers start coming in one at a time. This is the Morse code that it got in like the full Morse code and then this is the actual Morse code being translated one at a time. So this is what I would want to display one at a time as it's coming in from like the other ship. So we've got a, a dot, so the space just went off, dot, dash, dot, dot. So this is an H, three, four dots is an uh, H. That's an E, one dot, and this is an L. And I'm going to start typing it. Dot, dash, dot, 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 dot. Come on, hit it. Dot, and then dot. Okay, so that's H, E, L, L. I'm pretending like I know how to read Morse code. It's just <laughs> that I've been testing this so long, I can kind of figure that out. So that is what I did using GBT. And, and the reason I tell you this is that I am not good. Is this a mess? I forgot if this is like a big compressed thing. Well, let's check it out. I'm not good at, uh, yeah, it's compressed because it was too big with all the notes inside. But anyways, the idea is that uh, I'm not good with doing loops and stuff like that. So what the chat GPT lets me do is create functions that I wouldn't be able to do on my own because I suck. So maybe it'll help you too. If you suck at scripting, maybe it'll help you too. So let's go ahead and chat GTP and I'll kind of show you how I kind of got used to working with it. So we're going to chat GPT and the 3.5 version is a free version. Uh, it's not very good. It's not very good. So if you go to four, you're going to get better results, but three will kind of work. Let's, let's try it. Let's try three. So if we do Stormworks Lua, Stormworks Lua, write me a function that turns on and off a Boolean every four seconds. Okay. We'll hit enter and it will write the code out. So it's doing a sleep function, which, you know, Stormworks does not handle. So what you usually have to do, and this is what I found after working with it for a week, is you'll want to say, please change it. You don't have to say please, it's a robot. But please change it to a tick timer. Sleep is not supported. And then it will change it to a tick timer. And that will do it. And we'll have a boolean that goes on and off every four seconds we can try the code. So let's go ahead and copy this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and create a Boolean out, do, 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 do. Come in here and grab a Lua block and go like this, go like this. I don't think I set it to like a actual thing. Let's see what it, what we did here. So there's our code, it's just sitting Boolean. Uh, Karen, oh, I did this. I think I ignored what I said. See what I said? Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Okay, here's this one. All right, so when I was recording this, I think I forgot to switch between screens. So if I didn't, I'm just gonna start over from this part. So what I told it to do is write me a function that turns on and off a Boolean 
uh, number one using output.setBool every four seconds using a tick timer. It came in here and it created the Boolean starts off false, the counter equals zero, tick interval is four times 60, uh, which 60 is uh, one second, per, uh, 60 ticks is one second. And so then it threw this all by itself into the on tick timer and created this code that uh, I will show you it running right now. So hopefully I made sense of this video because I don't know if I actually recorded that part. So I'm gonna come over here and I have a microcontroller and it's hooked to the Boolean out. And of course I just went in here and I pasted that like that. And then I ran the code. Okay, here we go. So we run the code and we watch. Does this like go on every four seconds? Boop. One, two, three, four, off. One, two, three, four, on. And so it'll just keep doing that. So that is just a very simple way that you can use ChatGPT to help you write some code. Uh, but of course you can get a little bit more fancier as you keep like doing iterations. So let's go back to that screen. This time I will remember. And of course this is chat GPT-4, so it's gonna give me better results. So you can also like feed it information. So uh, I created, hold on one second. All right, so what I have here is a text file with all of the Stormworks and Lua that it supports. And so I, I got this from Pony's IDE uh, documentation. So he's got it all documented what it supports on stuff. And what you can do is you can grab things that you know you want to use. So let's see, I'm gonna go over here to uh, draw circles all the way down, see how far I can get to set color, I guess. We can grab this, and then we can go back to ChatGPT. Okay, and we can say here, oops, uh, let's see, information about Stormworks Lua, read this. And then I'll just paste it in there. Boop. And it says, thank you for providing me information on the functions. Here's a summary of what they do. And then it kind of like just shows you that it understands what's going on. So let's see. Uh, write me a function, a function called, oops, called draw. Oops, my bad. Called draw. Draw square draws a square in the middle of the monitor. Use on draw. Sometimes you have to tell it to do that. And use the get width and get height. Uh, what else do we need to do? I don't know. Let's just try that. I'm probably forgetting something. All right, draw square, draws the middle of the monitor using on draw get with get height. All right, let's try this code and see if it does anything. Again, I'm not reading it. I just wanna see if it outputs code that works without me even glancing at what it does. So there's that. Let's go ahead and add a, a uh, video output. Dip. Turn on the monitor space. Okay, cool. Let's do this. All right. Where are you? Okay, I can't wait. We're going to get on the other side and it drew a square in the center. What? I don't even know what I'm doing. Just writing some code. So yeah, this is really cool. I mean, you guys should play around with it and see what it does. Again, four is better than three. We can go back to three again. Uh, 3.5. Let's just see if we can get it to write the same um, square function draw square function and chat GPT. I use four a lot because I like it better, but let's see if you're using the free version, let's see if we can get to work. So Stormworks Lua, uh, and let's make sure that it knows this stuff. Lovely. And let's go ahead and say, draw the square, Stormworks Lua, and see if it works. So it did, okay, so it did it on draw. It did a screen get width, it did this, and it's doing it all right here, and this is where it's calling it. So yeah, it actually works. Just wrote it just slightly different. So if we come back over here, let me big screen this. I forgot last time to do this, but let's big screen it this time. 
and we'll just go in here and take this on draw. Let's clear out this function. Oops, on tick. I think it needs that slowly. On function, on tick, boom, boom, and end, whatever. And let's just see if this works by itself. Okay, and boom. It threw an error. Get width. What? What's wrong with get width? Screen. Screen. Oops. Screen dot. Get width. Screen dot. Get width. Set color. Screen dot. Screen dot set color. And I'm missing this one right here, right? Screen dot set color. So 3.5 doesn't seem to know what it needs for Stormworks Lua, exactly. But 4.0, pretty good. And there's my square. Ta-da, woo! Yeah, so anyways, uh, I just want to show you this real quick because I wanted you to go ahead and uh, check out ChatGPT. It's something that's not going to be going away. And so we might as well learn to use it and help us. And what it does do is it allows you to, you know, generate code and then in many cases, if we go back, let's go back to number four real quick. Okay, and let me grab, let me grab my crap code. Uh, this is Stormworks Lua. Please review and explain how it works. So I'll do that. I'm gonna paste it in. <laughs> I was gonna say Stormworks Lua is quite simple. Its purpose is to draw a green, wait, what? Square center on, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> did I not copy? I didn't, <laughs> what is not my day? I didn't copy the um, the Morse code Lua, but this is the uh, Lua for uh, <laughs> the drawing, the square that we just created. And here it goes through and it says, the script defines an on draw. It starts by getting the dimensions and calculates by 50%. Uh, yada 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 so what you can do is if you're having trouble understanding some code that maybe you find in a microcontroller and it's not like compressed like my crap that i usually do you could probably throw it into chat gpt and have it explain to you how it works which is good for learning so that's another thing you can do so anyways um that's it for today i just really wanted to show you this and uh get you interested in uh this if you are new to Lua or if you're new to Stormworks and you just kind of want some help drawing lines or squares or circles or making a light blink or turn on and off or whatever the case may be, uh, give it a try. Give the chat GPT a try. And remember, don't try to make it do everything all at once. Try telling it to create a function that does a specific thing that you need it to do and then work from there and then build it out. And that is how I found it was best for me to use it. Um, again, I am not good at scripting or coding, so, uh, you know, someone might be able to explain this a little bit better, but this will get you started, hopefully. So, uh, that is it for today. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding-dong when I upload the video, and if you have subscribed, please consider doing so, and I will see you next time. Wow, this was really bad examples. I hope they helped. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.